All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So my buddy actually just sent me over a clip from ESPN with Rex Ryan, and the title of the video is Why Rex Ryan is Excited After the Jets Road Loss. I haven't watched it yet, so I figured, you know what? Let me just react to it on camera. So with that being said, let's jump in. How should a Jet fan feel coming out of that game yesterday in which they were getting blown out early? They looked uncharacteristically awful and fought all the way back and almost won the game. Yeah, two things. I mean, disappointed for sure. But I'm excited about this team. And to me, I'm happy with this. Look, you outplayed a team that was 9-2. and two. And how bad did they outplay them? By 200 yards. Yeah. They had 200 more yards than your, your opponent, a 9-2 mm -hmm. football team. So I am super encouraged. The other thing is this team got down. They got down quite a bit in the first half, and they came storming back. So there's no quit in this team like, like we saw the Colts do. Mm -hmm. All right, this is the exact opposite of that. This team's competing their tails off. They're competing like a playoff football team. And so I'm super encouraged but that at the same time, so disappointed in the outcome. So first off, let me just say, I absolutely love Rex Ryan. I'm a big Rex fan. I know he didn't get the, you know, the Super Bowl championship with the Jets. Uh, I know he went to the Buffalo Bills after his Jets tenure, but I gotta be honest, I, I've i always been a, just a massive fan of Rex Ryan. With that said though, I completely agree with this take. And I actually said this in the recap video, it really did feel like a playoff game, right? Just the environment, it was a packed house. Uh, the Jets had great moments, they had some low points. Same thing with the Minnesota Vikings. It was back and forth, it went right down to literally like the last couple minutes of the game. And uh, that legitimately felt like a do or die, win, you move on, lose, you go home type of game. But that wasn't the case. I think Rex Ryan brings up a really good point, how the Jets had 200 yards over the Minnesota Vikings. And what's really, really cool about that is that the Jets actually ran 12 drives where the Vikings had 13 drives. So, I mean, you're literally getting two, that, that's two football fields of yardage in one less drive. I think Rex makes a really, really good point there. You know, the Jets can hang. The Jets can go in to hostile environments. We saw it with Green Bay. We saw it with Pittsburgh. We saw it with Denver. And we saw it with the Minnesota Vikings and compete right to the end, if not win. Right? You Like, this is the reality of the situation. If Barrios hangs on to that pass at the end of the game... That's a touchdown. If Mike White hits a wide open Garrett Wilson streaking down the you know sideline, that's that's that you, that's probably a touchdown. Assuming that the Viking safety doesn't catch up or the Viking corner doesn't you know turn on the Jets and you know making uh, like this heroic tackle. But I mean, those are two huge impact plays. We can also factor in you know the referees too. If the Jets don't get a couple of um, ticky tack calls here and there in the first half. You know, maybe things would have looked a little differently um, uh, at the end of the game. I think for me, if I had to boil it down to one main issue on why the Jets lost, it was coaching. I mean, we can point to the play calls early on, like Mike White throwing it so much, not really having much of a run game at all. So now you're entering at halftime, you're down multiple scores. What do you think the Vikings are thinking about in their heads defensively? Yeah, the Jets are probably going to continue to throw the ball more. They're down multiple scores. They have to catch up at some point. That was their game plan going in. Uh, I did not like going for it on that fourth down, like right before halftime. I, I just felt like that was just a risky, risky decision. You have to be sure. If you're going for, when you're down multiple scores and the, uh, the, the opposition is getting the ball, in the second half, they have three timeouts. They have put points on your defense in that, in, you know, in that first half. You got to be 100% sure that you can go nail that first, uh, nail that fourth down. Wasn't the case. I didn't like the challenge that Sala had. I felt like it was obvious. Um, I, again, though, I, I was watching the game from a different perspective. Obviously, I wasn't standing there on the field. Um, but again, some of the play calls, some of the the flags, the, the mistakes, the dropped passes, the overthrows. Um, you know, that, that really killed this team. But I, I think for me, the bottom line is this. The Jets went into Minnesota, a 10-win football team, a playoff team, a team that clinched the NFC North, hung in. And if the Jets made one or two extra plays, I, I think the Jets could have literally won that game. So I, I feel good about this Jets team. I'm, I'm with Rex. I, I'm totally excited about what this Jets team can look like moving forward. And also, in the back of my mind, I know it's not really going to impact the team this year, but... Knowing that we have AVT coming back, knowing that we have Brees Hall, 
coming back, knowing that this team is extremely injured and we have reinforcements coming next season and we're not even talking about free agency and we're not even talking about the draft, okay? There are really, really good, fo good football players coming back from injury. I mean, the Jets are really going to be a force to be reckoned with if they continue to get out of their own way, stop making mistakes, and you know, trusting the systems, trusting the coaching staff, and, uh, you know, trusting one another on the field. I, I think this team, this, this regime specifically can be special, but, uh, you know, it's up to them to execute and everything like that. So I'll leave it there. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. What's your take on Rex's take? Where do you stand with this Jets team, this Jets loss? And by the way, before I end it, I know moral victories aren't uh, for everybody. Some people like them, some people don't. Uh, I think for me, I just try to look at everything uh, as objectively, as unbiased as possible. And, you know, what I saw was uh, you know, a seven-win Jets team coming up short by just a couple plays or arguably one play against one of the best teams in football. So I'll leave it there. Let me know your thoughts. And as always, go Jets.